Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. Greetings of peace, mercy, and blessings, science-minded learners. Welcome to another fun and exciting learning with me, Teacher Pam. Your science job. Have your pen, paper, and mobile ready for we will learn to differentiate solute from solvent here in our Science 6 class. You learned about mixtures from our previous episode, right? A mixture is a combination of two or more different substances that are physically combined. What are the two types of mixtures? The two types of mixtures are homogeneous and heterogeneous. Choose the letter of the correct answer. Write your answers on your paper. Number 1. Which of the following illustration is an example of mixture? The correct answer is A. A bowl of food. Number 2. Which of the following mixtures has components that are not visible? The correct answer is letter B, liquid inside vials. Number 3. Which of the following best describes a heterogeneous mixture? A. They show only one phase. B. They have the same properties. C. The components are not visible. D. They have components that are not uniform. The correct answer is letter D. They have components that are not uniform. Very good! You already learned something from our previous episode. Imagine this scenario. You are at home and suddenly, your sick mother asks you to go to the kitchen to prepare a milk drink for her. How are you going to prepare the drink? Great! You will pour a tablespoon of milk and sugar in a cup, then add hot water in it. What drinks do you usually prepare during breakfast? It could be coffee, milk, chocolate powder mixed with hot water, as for me, I prepare calamansi juice every morning. Now, have you ever wondered which of those substances is the one being dissolved? And the one that dissolves the other? In a powdered milk drink, which do you think is the one being dissolved? The milk powder or water? Very good! The milk powder is the one being dissolved. Which does the dissolving? Great! The water does the dissolving. At the end of today's episode, you will be able to differentiate a solute from a solvent. I know that you are excited to learn. So, let's have our activity time. In this activity, we need a coffee powder, hot water, and container. First, Let's put some coffee powder onto the cup. Then, let's add hot water in it. If you want to do it at your home, you have to be careful and ask help from elders. Finally, stir it so that the coffee will be dissolved completely in the water. Now, we have our homogeneous mixture in the form of a cup of coffee. Right! The coffee powder in water will be mixed and will form a uniform phase all throughout. Correct! The coffee powder is the one dissolved in the water. Thus, it is the solute. Great! The water dissolves the coffee powder, which is the solvent. Now, between the coffee powder and water, which is the solvent? Which is the solute? Water is the solvent, and coffee powder is the solute. When one substance dissolves into another, a solution is formed. A solution is a homogeneous mixture consisting of a solute dissolved into a solvent. 
A solvent is a substance that does the dissolving, or it is a substance used to dissolve a solute. The most common example of solvent is water. Water is considered as universal solvent because it dissolves more substances than any other. A solute is the substance being dissolved in a solution. Examples of solute are milk powder, sugar, salt, and many more. Solutes that can be dissolved in solvent is called soluble. Sugar, salt, milk powder, and soap are soluble in water since they all can be dissolved in water. Substances that cannot be dissolved in solvent, it is called insoluble. Examples of insoluble substances in water are sand, stones, and gravel. Science-minded learners, let's have what's more! Identify the solute or solutes in the following solutions. Do it on your paper. Number 1. Powdered orange juice drink. The correct answer is powdered orange juice and sugar. Number 2. Milk drink. The correct answer is milk powder and sugar. Number 3. Sugar solution. The correct answer is sugar. Number 4. 40% rubbing alcohol. The correct answer is 40% rubbing alcohol. Number 5. Saline solution. The correct answer is salt. Part B. Put a check mark if the given solute is soluble and X if not soluble in the solvent paired with them. Number 6. Enamel paint water. The correct answer is X. Number 7. Flour oil. The correct answer is X. Number 8. Salt vinegar. The correct answer is check. Number 9. Sugar water. The correct answer is check. And number 10. Powdered milk hot water. The correct answer is check. Very good, science-minded learners. Oh, we have Cece here again. How are you, Cece? I'm good. I just want to help science-minded learners. Can you help me again? Can we help Cece again? Great! So, Cece, what kind of help do you want? I have to identify the solute and solvent of the four solutions and fill in the table. Science-minded learners, let's help our friend Sissy. Science-minded learners, let's help our friend Sissy. In the sugar solution, what is the solute? And what is the solvent? Yes, the solute is sugar and water is the solvent. In the salt solution, what is the solute and solvent? The correct answer is salt as the solute and water as the solvent. What is the solute and solvent in the glass of juice? Excellent! Juice powdered and sugar are the solute and water as the solvent. Lastly, what is the solute and solvent in carbonated drinks? Correct! Carbon dioxide, sweeteners, carbonic acid are the solute. And the solvent is water. My friend Sissy is so happy because she's done with her assignment. Sis, you help her. Hopefully, you will not get tired in helping someone like Sissy. Take note that water is not the only solvent in the world. There are many solvents that can dissolve substances, but we will learn about them as we move forward in our learnings. Also, solvent is usually a liquid but can also be a solid or a gas. Now, for our what I have learned part. Complete the statements 
by choosing the correct answers from the given choices in the box. Write your answers on your paper. I learned that a blank is a substance used to dissolve a blank. The correct answer is, a solvent is a substance used to dissolve a solute. On the other hand, a blank is a substance that is being dissolved. On the other hand, a solute is a substance that is being dissolved. There are substances that can be dissolved in the given solvent. It is called blank. While the materials that can be dissolved in a given solvent is called blank. There are substances that can be dissolved in a given solvent. It is called soluble. While the materials that can be dissolved is called insoluble. Wow! It is good that you have learned something from our episode. I hope that you will apply what you've learned because that is what a scientist do. Science minded learners, are you ready for our what I can do? Answer the following questions and write your answer on your paper. Number one, based on the given illustration, which is the solute and which is the solvent? The correct answer is sugar as the solute and water as the solvent. How is the sugar being dissolved in a given solvent? And air. The sugar will dissolve in water thoroughly because of its solubility. Solubility is a property of a substance to be dissolved by another substance. Science-minded learners, are you ready for our assessment? Great! Because I'm ready to give you an assessment. Choose the letter of the best answer and write it on your paper. Which of the following happens if you mix juice powder with water? A. The juice powder will dissolve in water. B. The juice powder will form a layer. C. The juice powder will not dissolve in water. Or D. The juice powder will settle at the bottom of the water. The correct answer is... A. The juice powder will dissolve in water. Number 2. Which substance dissolves the most number of solutes? A. Oil B. Paint C. Sugar or D. Water The correct answer is D. Water Number 3. What will happen if we add leaves to water? A. The leaves will dissolve in water. B. The leaves will not dissolve in water. C. The leaves will partially dissolve in water. Or D. Both A and B. The correct answer is B. The leaves will not dissolve in water. Number 4. What is the solvent in a glass of milk? A. Milk powder. B. Sugar. C. Sugar and milk. Or D. Water The correct answer is D. Water Number 5. Which of the following substances can be dissolved in water? A. Enamel paint B. Oil C. Salt Or D. Both A and B The correct answer is C. Salt That was amazing! science-minded learners. To catch up with the next lesson on factors affecting solubility, let's stay tuned to learn more. Only here on Depet TV. Remember, our Almighty God is always with us and the virus will not stop us from learning. Once again, I am Teacher Pam, leaving a message. It's better to learn slowly than to not learn at all. Wassalam!